And now your WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt. Good morning and happy Thursday. Have you ever wondered what the 40% or 30% chance on a seven day forecast really actually meant? I know uh, some people, I guess I've just been learning this week. It's become a, a social media video that's been going around that a lot of people don't quite know what it actually means when we say there's a 40% chance of rain. So I figured I'd try to break it down here. My friend uh, Madison actually sent me that video of a TikTok that was made for those that were saying that they didn't quite understand when the meteorologist talks about the percentage of rain. So there actually actually is an equation. Everything in terms of meteorology comes along with math and equations. You don't just quite see it all the time. So here's the simple equation for you. We break down our confidence percentage. So if I am 80% uh, confidence that we are going to see that chance of rain in about 50% of the viewing area, you then take those numbers 0.8 times 0.5 that gives you your total of 40%. And that's that number you would see have me put on the seven day forecast. You wouldn't see the 80 or the 50, you would see that 40% chance. I cover over 20 different counties across our viewing area, which is three different states. And therefore, that's a lot of area to cover. And so it's not every time are we going to see a system that will hit every single county unless you see a 100% chance on my map. That means I'm confident that everyone will be hit by that system. Now this morning we saw those flurries that I was mentioning. There was a 20% chance of those flurries last night and only a few of us saw those flurries and it didn't last all that long either. Uh, we've got cloudy skies in place of course the rest of the morning and then clear skies are behind us uh, as high pressure will start to move in for the region. Temperature wise again another mild morning. We've got 20s for most of us 21 twin ports the teens up to the north and 18 degrees up to our north and west. As I've been mentioning high pressure is in control so today is going to be a carbon copy of yesterday. We'll see the afternoon sunshine which will bring temperatures back into the 30s. Probably some more snow belt for some of you again uh, as we continue to see sun move up to a higher angle as we get, get closer and closer to that spring and summer. Now by the afternoon evening hours we'll see into Friday morning clouds increase again. We're tracking our nether system for this Friday night into Saturday morning. This time I'm going with a 30% chance of a rain snow mix and that is because only a few portions of our area like northeastern Minnesota and central Wisconsin are going to see that chance and then Saturday afternoon clouds will increase from the south. We've got another system. It's a lot of active weather pattern this week with these warm temperatures that are producing these small little chances of rain and snow that are going to be moving through the viewing area. So Sunday morning, I'm going with a 20% morning chance for areas in Minnesota to even see that chance for some light snow showers. But for the rest of the region like Wisconsin, they do have a much better chance at seeing accumulating snow. Friday afternoon high, we're looking at 38 degrees for our high temperature. So it should be a nice start to our weekend with mild temperatures to start the weekend. A little bit of a cooler start into Monday as March does begin next week. And then the rest of March or the first week of March, I should say, is looking promising above average and things are looking great. Not too bad. Yeah. It does. Uh, does it kind of blow your mind that March is starting? It's next crazy. Week? I know February is the shortest month, but even still, it I know flew. even still it flew by. And especially with the I feel like we were really <laughs> if we haven't already been in the house yeah. for the last year during that polar <laughs> vortex, we were really locked up in the house. Yeah, for the I start think of February, we're ready so. to get out with that springtime. Yeah, I'm and... getting it. I'm getting the spring fever. Yep. I can feel it. <laughs> so hopefully. Um, hopefully, hopefully March delivers yes. for us. Thanks, Caitlin. Yep. In case you're just